Welcome to King Yakich Channel. Hit that like bell and hey hit subscribe. Welcome to King Yakich Channel. Y'all hit that like bell, hit subscribe, and remember, I love all my subscribers. Well, y'all, y'all are very great today. I hope y'all doing good today. Y'all speaking and listening. It's a blessing. I'm the Messiah, you know. And when I say I'm the Messiah, that don't mean I'm Jesus. Jesus said it was going to be many messiahs come. Some will be evil and some will be good. But hey, I'm the good one. I'm on Jesus' side, you know, the most high y'all. Um, the most high y'all put this in my heart to tell you all to be helpful towards one another when they're going through struggles. Be fair what we do. You know, always embrace one another when the burdens is heavy on your loved ones or peoples that you trust, or peoples that you work for, and peoples that you always be around that you always embrace them no matter what <clears throat> you know uh it's all about it's all about fulfilling you know the law of christ you know if you fulfill the law of christ right you have a key to god heart you know god will bless you abundance if you can do the law of christ right so a lot of people be how not they the messiah it's like i am right it's a lot of people saying that they god you know it's a lot of people how not they the creator they god or they are god is or but guess what? Can they fulfill the law of Christ? You know, Christ means the anointed. It means Messiah. It means that you can be a God if you can fulfill this. I want you all to take time and get your Bibles. Dust it off. I know some of y'all ain't never you know, been reading it lately. I just don't, don't be reading it lately, right? Because there's so many distractions. But I tell y'all, take that Bible back out, right? And forget all the conspiracy about it, right? Dust it out, right? Because it's going to benefit you. Right? It's going to benefit you. The devil throwing many black magic, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people running the black magic once you run to the Bible also. Go to uh, in Galatians 6, chapter 6, and read from 6 to 6. Sufficiently. It reads in Galatians 6 through 6. Brother, if a man be overtaken in a fault, yea, which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness. Considering they self, lest thou also be tempted. I'm going to pause that, right? What that scripture really meaning, you know, we got a lot of devils. We got more devils on the earth than angels. You get it? And their job is not God's job. Their job is to tempt you if you got any light that you're showing. So if you see a person being burdened that you love and that you trust and that you care about, you know what I'm saying? Why don't you assist that person? You know, it can be a bully. It can be a nauseous. Just constantly picking on this good hearted person because they're so jealous. It's no uh, sin for you to step in and intervene and tell them people to leave that person alone. Or if the, or if you don't want to start double trouble, you know, if that person by themselves, you catch that person by themselves, you, you have a talk with that person. Like, hey, man, don't do that to that person, man. He good, man. He cool, man. Just let it go, man. You know? That's what uh, being a Christ law is. By taking other folks' burdens. You know, sacrificing yourself to help others. It can be another way. If you see somebody needing something, you know, help them. You know, buy them grocery. If a person needs to talk, talk to them, counsel them. Or if they are hurting, you know, embrace them. Right? Don't just love to watch people struggle and stress. You're not a Messiah if you do that. You're not a God or a goddess. And then in Galatians 6 uh, through 6, you read uh, on down to 3, it reads, For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing he deceitful himself uh -huh. remember there's a lot of people hollering out they are a god but there they go doing things ungodly these people are not they messiah but they're not helping nobody you get it they're just talking talking talk, they ain't helping nobody uh if you go down to uh, six it, galatians six it reads let him that is teaching a talk in the word communication unto him that teacheth in all good things be not deceitful god is not marked for whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also weep. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh weep corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit weep life forever. See, if you be yourself, God will bless you more. If you're marking somebody else, God will curse you more. Oh See, God, God. wants all us to be ourselves. He created us as selves. See, search within yourself, man. Her, a man, whatever. And, and you'll be surprised what, what you find about yourself. And then you throw it out to the world. That's what you, you sow. You sow good things about yourself out there. Don't, don't sow nothing false about yourself because it's going to catch back up with you. You know, the devil going to try you because the devil gets jealous fast. If you say, hey, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, the devil listen. 
you. Then the devil gonna tempt you and try to ruin you because the devil gonna always be jealous of anybody that speak about light. You get it? Be careful what you sow out there. Let it come back. The devil bring it back to you. But if you sow what's right, God gonna protect it and God gonna uh, increase it for everybody to notice how great you are. I see y'all later. Bye bye.